All right, you guys, so check it out. If we get 500 likes on this video, then I'm gonna give out two $50 gift cards. Um, 500 likes from two weeks from today. So today's January 27th. Two weeks from today, if we have 500 likes, I'm gonna pick two of you randomly through my number generating app that I just downloaded to be able to do that for you guys. And also wait till the end of the video because my wife's gonna show all of you who like your Keurig how to use the Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company's coffee in your Keurig, okay? Appreciate it, you guys. Say hi, Pam. What is going on, everybody? It's January 27th, 2023, and we are here at Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company. How you guys doing? Hey, I hate doing this, but if you guys do like what I'm doing, please hit like and subscribe. It really does help. Um, I don't know with what, but everyone says it really does help, so please help me out. Um, basically, we're gonna do a video here for Chris, the owner of Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company. This guy has the most incredible coffee, you guys. My wife is a coffee connoisseur, and uh, she doesn't uh, pull any punches, I'll tell you that. <laughs> She's very honest. And uh, she she really can't live without this coffee. And uh, so I just wanted to share this with all of you guys. And he's gonna do something nice for all of us also. For those of you who don't get a chance to come up to Big Bear, he'll ship the coffee to you guys. How cool is that? So you guys can have locally roasted coffee. And uh, I think you'll be super, super pleased. So yeah, this is Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company, guys. There's a big parking lot back here for you all to park. It's right on Big Bear Boulevard. Place is awesome. Place is awesome. The owner, Chris, is the man. Just want to show you guys what we're looking at going down the boulevard right here. Two stoplights up is the village. So we're not too far from the village. Lots of traffic here, which is good, which is good. We need the traffic in town. Let's make our way into Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company, guys. And guys, guys, actually, right before we walk in, I want to show you guys what's on the menu. Let's just go sit down right here for a moment. Show you guys what is on the menu for this wonderful establishment. I'm telling you guys, I've never been a coffee drinker. I've never been a huge fan. My wife got me to start drinking this coffee, and uh, even though I have Crohn's disease, <laughs> I don't care. It's really, really, really good. You can taste the freshness. Um, and I don't know much of a, uh, you know about coffee, but it tastes super, super fresh. So what my wife loves is Mother's Camp right there. And I'll ask him to explain to us how he came up with these names and what's inside of each one. I know it says what's inside of each one, but to get his explanation as well. so proud of this guy man he's such a good guy you guys and also something pretty interesting is some of the coffee shops up here actually come and buy his freshly roasted coffee to sell at their coffee shops that's their main product so he's, he's got something special and i consider you guys go to the source and he is the source so we're about to go in now let's do this here we go pet friendly Okay, so you walk in, we look to the right here. Got the espresso bar going right here, which is, oh man. This place just has that, that old school feel to it and it's, it's, it's a wonderful place, you guys. It's so comfortable in here. Let's take a look at everything we've got in here. And when it dies down from the customers, we will have a little interview with Chris. Guys, everything here is super high quality. I mean, I can hardly lift that damn thing. And by the way, I came in here two days ago and this guy's shelves were completely full. And now, like, all the stuff is, for the most part, gone. But the thing is, is he, he refills everything once to twice per week. He's basically a one-man operation. And so... That's why he he can't do too much. As I told you guys, he's got some 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 medical issues which keep him held back a little bit. But he's got so much good stuff here, guys. The dude is on dialysis, guys, three days a week, and he never complains about anything. He works so hard, and this is basically, as I said, all just him. Yeah, 
He has inspired me, guys, so much. So much. Let's get a closer look. And you can smell all your coffee before you buy it. Oh yeah, space. I would have been here. As I said, some of the shelves have just been sold out super, super quickly. God bless him. God bless him. Uh, usually, it's just line blah, 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 blah. all the way to the wall. But his stuff sells fast. He roasts a lot of coffee every week. <laughs> and then they've got all of these special filters and stuff like that. And then this right here, this whole shelf is like my favorite one, Mother's Camp. That's my wife's favorite one too. It is, in, guys, it is ridiculously good. As I said, I'm going to have them explain to you how the names came about for some of these. Oh, yeah. Oh, for me, that's like... I bought two of these. He's got these in this small size and the larger size. I bought both, the small and the large. Yeah, let's go back over to this other side. We'll, we'll do this roasting room shortly when he is is with us. Some more great marks here. A couple other local products too. So this side is the non-flavored roasts. Okay, guys, this is the non-flavored stuff over here. As I said, this stuff sells so fast. And going through what he he goes through, guys, he does work his butt off. He does the best that he can, but his coffee flies off the shelves. Absolutely flies off the shelves. He can walk. Oh yeah, let's do it. Just such cool stuff in this place. I mean, we should park this up in the park. Yeah. I think so. Right here, we got Sonora waiting for it to open. So the first side we did were all the flavored coffees. And he'll obviously ground ground your beans for you. No problem. He's got lots of lots of great stuff, guys. Lots of great big bear memorabilia. All these shirts, his beanies are super high quality too. Some of this stuff, I don't know exactly what it's for, but I bet a lot of you do. And he's a big time Zippo collector also, and so he sells some pretty amazing high-end, very classy Zippos as well. The dude is just awesome. He's like my my big bear father, you could say. Super proud of him. They got great snacks as well, cookies and stuff like that. These are two packs right here. And he's working right now. We will talk to him shortly. That's the man right there, though. <laughs> And then for the kids, get a lollipop. He actually gifted me because I'm a Dodger fan. He gifted me a Dodger Zippo, and I was so excited. Yes, thank you. Yeah, guys, this is just this. This place is wonderful.
And you know, we gotta show show the cute doggy. Hey, look at you, you're gonna be on TV. Yeah, guys, this guy does not cut any corners. He works really, really hard to provide the best coffee around. And if you guys don't literally think it's the best coffee you've had in a long time, I swear I would, I, I'd give you your money back. I would bet anything that every single one of you will think this is the best coffee. And as, as I said, this is, this, is, this is locally done here. This is roasted here. And I know a lot of you love Big Bear. And if you want to really, really support Big Bear and support this wonderful man, as I said, he's adding shipping and stuff because he, I want you guys to have all this stuff. And he said he'd be willing to you know, ship it to you guys. So it's a beautiful thing. Small ice vanilla. Thank you. You're welcome. This is as good as it gets, you guys. And we will talk to this guy in just a moment. <laughs> That's Chris, you guys. That's Chris. Chris is the man. As I said, guys, that guy has changed my attitude on so many things, and he's just such a wonderful friend. He's been nothing but good to me. And I would never st steer you guys wrong. I would never, ever steer you guys wrong. I wouldn't waste you guys' time or waste your guys' money. But if you guys want to support Chris, um, yeah, I'll leave everything. I'll leave everything in the description down below, how you can order, um, every, every, you know, all that good stuff, how you can contact him. And yeah, when you come up here, please stop by here. Please stop by here. But now we're going to do the interview with Chris. Thank you, guys. <laughs> take care. Take care. Thank you. It All right. Well, let's interview the man. I'm not alive until I've had my coffee. As I said, guys, these are high quality shirts, too. His. He also gifted me one of these beanies. The only reason I'm wearing my beanie right now is because I'm selfish, I guess, and I should be wearing his because I'm doing his shop. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I hate hate to say it, guys, but his, his beanies are really, really nice, too, and much more affordable than mine. So, um, yeah, and he'd be happy to help you guys out. He's, he's a sweetheart, and uh, as I said, you guys will be super proud of your product when you get it. You will not regret it. All right, we're going to interview him in just a moment. One more little look at the shop here. Peaceful music in the background, guys. This is the stuff I grew up in my grandfather's car listening to, and it brings back the greatest memories and of a time that I wish that I lived. All right, let's get to Chris in a moment. All right, you guys, this is Chris, the owner of Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company. How you doing, Chris? Good, how are you guys? <laughs> doing? We're doing well, we're awesome. doing well, we're doing well. And uh, thank you for allowing me to do this for you because Absolutely. you are as deserving of a man as ever. And uh, you have a wonderful oh, product. Go on. <laughs> it's the truth, man. It's the truth. So um, I, I had a question for you. Are, are yeah. you willing to show us the coffee roasting stuff back yeah, there? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So we roast everything in-house. We've been roasting up here since 1993. Not me personally, but business has been here since 1993. Uh, and we've been roasting in this beautiful machine here ever since then. Wow. So this is a Diedrich IR-12. IR means infrared. 12 means 12 kilos. Wow. Roughly about <laughs> 25 pounds. Holy moly. So uh, we put the uh, green beans, we get the green beans like this in these big bags, uh, 150 pounds each from all over the world. We've got Brazil, Costa Rica, uh, Kenya, Ethiopia, uh, we've got some India, Malabar right now. Wow. Uh, Sumatra. It really isn't joking all over the world. All over the world. Colombia. Yep. Uh, Mexico, Guatemala. Uh, did I say Costa Rica, Colombia? I think that's all of them. Wow. Um, so we get them in these 150 pound bags and then we take them, uh, we put them up in here. And when we're ready to roast, when everything's up to temperature, we drop these goes in here, there's a big barrel turning, two infrared heat panels on either side, and uh, we bring it up to whatever temperature we're doing. So if we're doing a medium roast, we're in the four, low 400s, 400, 
406, 416, somewhere in that range. Precise, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Depends on the bean and, and what we're doing when we're roasting it is we're listening to it and we're watching it. We're watching the color and we're listening for a crack. So the beans go for, through a couple different cracks. When it uh, first starts cooking, it'll go through first crack and it'll start doing that in the high 300s. Um, and then we'll get a second crack in the mid 300s or 400s rather. So about 400 and 440, 450 degrees, we get the second crack. And what that is, it's the inside of the bean opening up and that's releasing the oils. So when you see an oily coffee, that's been through second crack and that's a darker roast. Um, those, all those medium roasts will be a, a drier bean and a lighter brown bean. Higher caffeine content, different flavor profile. You get the flavor of the origin rather than the flavor of the roast. So when you get up into French roast, all you taste is what I did to the bean. Doesn't matter what bean it is anymore at that point because all you're tasting is the roast flavor, not the origin flavor. So we bring them up to temperature in the, uh, in the bin or in the, uh, in the barrel here. And then when we get it up to the temperature that we want, we drop them out of here and we drop them into this bin and we flip the air uh, so it's pulling air through because we want to cool those beans quickly. Because the beans, kind of like eggs, will keep on cooking after you pull them. So there's a lot of, a lot of heat left in those. So we want to get that, that temperature down as quickly as possible to stop the roast. And then once we get it to the temperature and get it cooled down, we drop them out of here, we put them in our buckets or bag them. Uh, if we're doing blends, we put them in buckets and then we do all of our blending here um, and all of our flavoring here too. And wow. That's our process. Wow, that is a process. Yep. And that is an incredible week. process. Uh, we're, we're roasting, filling the shelves every week. In Try incredible. To get, it, get it as fresh as possible. Incredible. Well, yeah. as I told them, Chris, other coffee shops use your product as their main source of coffee. so. Um, you're doing something right <laughs> and you have my wife addicted so you're definitely doing something right because as i told them she doesn't pull any punches she is as honest as they come even if it's her own mother <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know well freshness is key and uh you know if you can get you know there's oftentimes so i'll be here late friday night and you show up saturday morning buy beans and they'll still be warm yeah. so freshness is key uh you know you don't want to keep beans for about a, you know more than a month uh, you can keep them more, more than a month. They'll last up to three months, but uh, fresher the better. Right on, Chris. Yeah. Right on. What a process. What a process. That's got to be why you are uh, very recommended in this area. And that's why I recommend you too, because I, I was telling them as well that I'm not a huge, huge coffee drinker until I started actually drinking your coffee at my house with my wife. And uh, um, yeah, kind of changed me quite a bit because I was just never a, a huge fan and I can actually drink your coffee black yeah which uh, 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 uh like uh, yeah amazing to me and I'm thank I, you for explaining I was, this I was the same person I, I was drinking sugar all day long <laughs> yeah. you know, love my cream love my sugar but uh, a good fresh coffee um, you can you can take it black and, and you get a whole unique uh, experience with with fresh coffee because you're getting much much more potent flavors uh, in the cup and, uh, you know, fresh, fresh is key. So then if it's not fresh, like a lot of these other shops are, um, does it, so it loses its, its flavor just, just character really over time? Flavor, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, 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 the flavor degrades over time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah guys, this guy's amazing. And, uh, yeah. As I said, 150 pound bags, 150 pound yeah. bags. This guy you, uh, freaking I mean, carries them, and have? he does so many yeah, bags per week. Curious, you're good. Good. This, this tells us we're, on time. we're waiting for uh, our check-in time. Oh yeah, no worries, man. Oh, okay, sweet. You're good. Thank you. Sure. All right, cool. So um, I wanted to also see, are, are you willing to, to maybe uh, take another couple minutes with me and explain to me how you came up with some of the names Absolutely. on the coffees out there? Absolutely. Okay, guys. Let's follow the man out. Guys, this is the owner of Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company right here. <laughs> so we've got um, flavored coffees and unflavored coffees. Flavored coffees have uh, natural and artificial flavors that we put on. Blueberry, uh, vanilla, 
caramel, you know, all those different flavors, and we have different blends uh, with different, all sorts of different flavors. Um, a lot of the flavors were made by customers. Uh, back in the day, all the beans used to be in jars, so you could smell them, and you could come in and do your own mixing. Wow. Well, over the years, we've kind of gotten gotten pretty much all the mixes that we need, so uh, we will do custom flavors anytime, but we have so many different flavors to choose from that generally there's not a lot of people mixing their own flavors anymore. <laughs> but, uh, like for instance, Mother's Camp is our number one seller. It's hazelnut, it's my a favorite. little bit of chocolate, a little bit of almond. And that was uh, a place called Mother's Camp over in Fonskin back in the, I guess it was probably the 80s. And it was a woman's retreat. And they came in and they came up with their own blend for their camp. And the previous owner, Michelle, would just name it after them. So it was called Mother's Camp after place called Mother's That's cool. And guys, Fawn Skin is in the Big Bear Valley. It's on the South Shore. Um, it's a little tiny town, little kind of quiet, very quiet. Very <laughs> quiet, yeah, <laughs> very, very, very quiet. Very cute and quaint though. Yeah. And then, uh, so we have uh, Jen's Blend, which Jen was a prior employee. She came up with that blend and named it Jen's Blend. We also have a Kelly's Blend for former employee Kelly. Uh, so yeah, we've got all sorts of flavored coffees, and then we also do unflavored coffees, single origins and single origin blends, and house roasts. House roasts is just one bean brought up to different temperatures. So you'll have a medium roast with that bean, then we go, we skip over medium because we have so many single origins on, that are roasted medium, that we go to Vienna roast. And then the next darker is French, then Italian, then Spanish. And we take some of those blends and then we add them in with medium roasts to get things like Bog Liquor, Cowboy Joe, High Society. And those are all blends of medium roasts and dark roasts from different countries. Or medium roasts from different countries and dark roasts. And so those ones you're, you're talking about are over here, correct? Yeah. And those are our house roasts, French, Italian, Spanish, those typical ones. And then the next section to the right are blends. And that way you can get uh, that smoky flavor from a dark roast, but still get a good caffeine content and good flavors out of medium roasts. So it's a really good blends uh, to, to get kind of the best of all worlds. Um, if you don't just want a dark roast, you can get a blend with, with some dark and some medium and, and get a really good cut. And coming up with the right blend must, must be a process of trial and error, correct? Yeah, it's been over 30 years that you know we've come up with these different flavors. That's insane. Yeah, I was 12 years old. Yeah, that's and insane. That, <laughs> and the, the nice thing is that we have these jars here that we uh, keep the beans in so you can experience them. You can see the roast, you can see the beans, you can uh, and you can open them up and smell them. Oh, can you guys smell that? Yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. Is generally what we say is, if the coffee smells good to you, it's going to taste good to you. Because people always ask, what's the most popular? Well, it doesn't matter what the most popular is. What do you like? What tastes best to you? And you can experience them all by smelling the jars and get a really good idea of what's going to be a great cup. Well, I think that's a great idea that you allow people to actually smell the beans. Absolutely. Yeah. And guys, obviously, they're in these jars, so people aren't opening up the bags and putting their noses in the bags. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that, that, that people are going to end up buying. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Great stuff, Chris. Great stuff, Chris. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you also said that you would, you'd be willing to ship to our people on this channel? Absolutely. We ship all over the country. We've got customers all over the country for, for that we've built up over the last 30 years. Guys, I'm, I'm telling you right now, you will not regret it. And just like I say with some of the other referrals I give you guys up here, if you don't find it to be as good as I say, I will give you your money back. I will personally give you your money back. I promise you guys will be ordering and ordering and ordering and ordering. Well, I don't steer my friends wrong here, Chris. It's like, a pretty uh, good guarantee. It is, it's a great guarantee. But you know what? As I said, I, I, I love them to death. They have... They have given me a lot of hope in my life and uh, and you are someone else who has personally helped me out and given me a lot of hope and made me realize that there's no point in complaining about things. Just put your nose to the grindstone, work hard and do the best with what you got yep. and be grateful. Yep. 
and you know what man like i i i, I really hope they try out your coffee because uh you're gonna have to stock these shelves twice every week now <laughs> we'll do it yeah 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 great pleasure's all ours yeah thank you chris Absolutely. thank you and is there anything else that you would like to share with us uh um, I, I know you sell beanies and you sell t-shirts, yep. um, beautiful coffee mugs, absolutely beautiful coffee mugs. What are, what are these things right here? So we're a Chemex dealer and Chemex has been around since the 1940s. Uh, it was invented by a chemist. Apparently he had a lot of time on his hand and loved coffee. But um, these are, this is called a pour over method. And what that is, is when, um, when you're making coffee, to reduce the acidity of the coffee, you reduce the amount of time hot water's on the on the grounds. So with the pour over and the Chemex, you have this really big aperture. So okay. you can see how much surface area there is for that water to flow through. Here's the, uh, the filter, and you put a filter in here and then you put your coffee in there. And then you use what's called a gooseneck kettle. Guys, get, this is awesome. To get a precision pour. And this way you can get the water exactly where you want it. The technique for pour over is you put your be you put your grounds in there, you, you get them a little wet and what happens is they bloom, they puff up and they open up and they get ready to brew. So it takes about 10 seconds and when they puff up, then you're gonna come across with your gooseneck kettle and you're gonna pour water until it tops, just on top of the, uh, on top of the grounds and then let it drain. And it's gonna drain really quickly because you have such a big aperture. So you're going to pour and stop, pour and stop, pour and stop until you get the volume that you want. Okay. And what you get out of that, that quick brewing, is you get a smoother cup of coffee, lower acidity in the pour over method than a typical drip or a French press. <laughs> um, wow. French press will give you that, you know, a, a good bold flavor. Some people like the acidity of, a co uh, of coffee. It's generally a, an acidic drink. Um, but you can reduce it by the way you brew it. And the pour over method is the best way to do that. Fantastic, man. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that with us. Absolutely. Yeah, right on. And we sell all the Chemex filters and, and all the different sizes here. Everything can be shipped, right? Everything. Yeah, everything okay. can be shipped. Everything you guys see that is for sale, you guys can have it shipped to your homes. As I said, you guys can experience authentic Big Bear coffee roasted right here at 6,750 feet up, you guys. And uh, as I said, and as, as he said, he has clients all over the country. And uh, you know, these are repeat, repeat customers. And uh, I'm just super proud to share this with you guys because he, he deserves it. And you guys will know why once you try it. Come on in. Hello, welcome. Do you guys Hello. mind being in the background of a YouTube video? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool, uh, okay, cool, cool. And these are on the table, so not on the front counter. Thank you. Absolutely. I was trying to avoid giving it. I thought you were taking a picture. Oh, no, 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 thank you. I did notice that. Thank you. All right, guys. So I will get back to you in just a moment. But wow, I just learned a whole bunch about coffee, didn't you guys? Holy moly. Cool, man. Right on. <laughs> we, have a, we can add here, too. And everything in here, for the most part, is derived from up here, guys. Everything. So. We, we keep it local, but we keep it quality and keep it classy. I'll be right with you guys again. Hang on a bit. And guys, also, just remember, this is, uh, this is coffee with altitude, all right? <laughs> 6,750 feet up, and it's a tremendous product. Tremendous product, guys. I, I'm, as I said, I'm not a coffee person. I was so looking forward to doing this video for him because uh, he's, he's turned me on to something new in my life. And I'm super, super excited about it, super proud about it. Um, once again, guys, this is such a wonderful human being. Um, he, he goes through some um, medical stuff and he goes through dialysis three days a week. And I'm telling you what, man, he has the best attitude and he is so genuine in his heart. He cares so much and he cares about his people in, in this town, he cares about you guys so much too, because Without you guys, none of us have an opportunity to live here. It's it, it, it's, color, it's you, cool. the tourists, who create the jobs up here. So we're super, super grateful for each and every single one of you. And I really hope some of you do try some of his coffee. Um, 
if you watch through till the very end, um, I'm also going to put a clip at the front, but if we can get to 500 likes on this video in the next two weeks, I'm willing to uh, do $250 uh, gift cards so you guys can spend a pretty penny and get some nice coffee from this place. So 500 likes on this video, $250 gift cards. You, you guys absolutely rock. Uh, as soon as he's done with his high-end customer service real quick, we're gonna get back to him, say goodbye, and if there's anything that he can add to it, I would be honored. I, I could sit here all day and let him it, really explain what he does because he explains it very 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 well he has passion and guys you know it's, it's hard to find a lot of people with the passion for what they do um, i think you'll taste the passion when you order his product all right i'll get right back to you guys all right guys well i want to say thank you chris again thank I, you i really appreciate everything let me shake your hand brother <laughs> i appreciate it big time thank you. God bless. and thank you for explaining everything to everybody Absolutely. um it's it's you have a true passion for this, and I'm so, so proud to know you, and I'm so proud to be able to help you out. It's easier to do things when you love them. <laughs> right on, bro. Well, guys, we are going to make like Tom and Cruz. <laughs> we are out of here. Chris, thank you again. See you guys. Thanks for coming in. Guys, what a, what a wonderful man. What a wonderful man. We got to get one more look at that. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. Can you believe that process, you guys, to roast the coffee? It's unbelievable. All right, we'll get one more, one more look of the coffee roasting company real quickly. If you guys are interested, it's called Big Bear Weather and More. is is my YouTube channel. I, I deal with all our weather typically, but thank you for giving us the okay to have you in the video. I appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Right on. All right, guys. Super, super cool. What we're going to do next is my wife is going to show you guys how to do the Keurig thing because just like really super high-end coffees, I haven't seen yet where they where they make like a specific one for their Keurig machines. And so she has a Keurig little thing that you buy at the grocery store. It's like six or seven bucks. And then you end up uh, just putting your ground coffee in that, put it in your Keurig machine and you're good to go. All right, guys, I appreciate it very, very, very much again. If you guys really do enjoy what I do, once again, hate to be annoying, but please hit like, please hit subscribe. Um, I want to see where this takes us all. And so many of you have been with me for so many years. Let's do this. Let's go big. And also, once again, if we hit 500 likes on this video, which I'll put at the very start, then uh, within two weeks period, I'm going to offer two $50 gift cards. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing that. All right, guys? Peace out. And once again... Bye-bye, Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company. We'll see you soon. Okay, guys. So now we're going to teach you guys how you can use Big Bear Coffee Roasting coffee inside of your Keurig. And my wife is going to show you guys. So I'm just going to show you what I do. These are the yummy coffees that Nick gets me from Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company. And they're all, the gr they're all ground down um, for the drip. That's what it would be called. But we and use the K-Cup. And they do have whole beans, but yeah, they do have whole beans. You can get whole beans and grind them yourself at home, or you can get them ground there. And they mix. I mean, you can get any flavor. These aren't just the only flavors. This is my favorite. Mother's Camp it has hazelnut, chocolate, and almond. And then Nick just got me this new one, caramel chocolate and cookies, which I'm really excited to try. <laughs> That's going to go really good with, even though this coffee is super good to drink black, this would go good with like, if you are a creamer person, this one, the cookie stick would go good with like a um, sweet cream or something like that. And then the mother's camp goes really good with the hazelnut creamer. Okay, so what I do is we get this K-cup here. This is That's what it's called. And if you have a Keurig, I'm sure everybody that has a Keurig knows what these are. But if you don't, they sell these at the grocery store. They're usually hanging on, you know, like the side fixtures or the end of the end walls. What do you call it? End caps. Um... And they come in like a little packaging. They're like $5.99 to $9.99. And um, what I do is I got this at Ikea. Um, and it's a sealed, like a mason jar. Um, so what I do is I put the two. And this little spoon comes with it. So this is a, a, a little set here. Put the two scoops in. And There's put your it into the Keurig. And start it up. I didn't warm my Keurig up 
but um, this as well. So like I'll do like the hot milk. I'll put the either hot milk or creamer or whatever you want to put in there and froth that up and make myself like a cappuccino or a latte, which is super yummy. <laughs> Well, thank you, baby, for showing them how to do that. I appreciate it because it was important for us to let you guys know that um, if you don't or if you only use your Keurig machine that you don't have to worry. You can use all of Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company's coffee um, in your Keurig. You just got to buy that device right there. Mm -hmm. And pretty much all grocery stores have it. Probably Walgreens and CVS probably have it, too. So anyway, thank you, guys. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Thank you for watching.